Okay. Welcome back to Home Design 3D. Now, we have finally achieved something in this game. I wanted to show you, uh, though there was a catch, I had to figure out how to get roofs on the building. Even though it wasn't really a roof per se, um, it certainly does make a difference. So let me show you what I had to do. Um, just like the other game, I gotta use my mouse to do everything, and it slows me down. All right, so let's zoom out. Let's go from the ground level so you can see this from the ground, and then I'll show you the house as we build back up so you can see the house. So we're gonna rock all the way back here. Okay, there's the house as it is now uh, at this point, and. Um, it's um it's getting there. I mean it's let's go into the door here. I guess this is the closest thing I can do because I fact I can't do much else with it. So let's go down to the ground floor so we can see what's in the ground floor. Actually the second floor is actually wanna go through. So we'll go through the wall. Um I still didn't do any interior decorating yet. Um because I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this big huge room for. Because, I mean, it's a great room for, you know, it's got the stairs going downstairs, it's got the bedroom, but this room here is empty. I haven't even decided what kind of heating I'm going to have. It looks like you could say the water heat is probably on the floor hot water heat. The bed, we know the bedroom is, is finished. Um, the bedroom is, you know, let me make this here. There's my desk. I have two lamps. Um, yeah, those are more modern contemporary light sources. We have our, uh, bathroom. Okay. That's pretty typical. It's a little glitchy in the software, but not too bad. And let's go, oops. Nah, I keep forgetting that my screen's corner is sitting up there. Okay. So let's go through the wall. After all, it's the easiest way to do it, right? This is the computer. So we're going to go through the wall, and we're out now, we're on the second floor. You can get to this floor now, um, because you can take, you can walk, you can take the steps. This, you see now I put a step down here, so these will go downstairs, and these go upstairs. Um, so if we go back to the same floor below, you'll see over here, we have added into it, we have a doorway now which goes outside or goes to the other room in the house you can go through this door here oops i'm still learning how to navigate with the mouse i'm not usually using a mouse like this so we can go through we're back here again okay so we have the door um that we can go around and uh that's the door that goes upstairs there's no windows in there, so it's kind of dark. Um, I like the I like the cobblestones inside. I think that looks really nice. Um, the steps are wooden. I might want to change the step decor, um, or at least paint them, so it would look nicer. But I didn't really do much to the outside yet. So the interior, of the building is not done. Uh, the, the the finishing the um, the land the the dining room still has no furniture in here. The kitchen, that bathroom is the same as the other bathroom. This door here, we can see that there's nothing out here either. I was gonna have a jacuzzi or a swimming pool. All right, let's actually let's put something on here. Let's let's do something. So let's go back to two D for a moment here. And uh, what I like to do is. If I'm not too precision oriented, I can actually skip a detail. So here we have um, the. Uh, I'm going to go to objects. Okay. Well, obviously, we're going to go to outdoors because it's an outdoor scene. Okay. Um, so outdoor and leisure. So mention swimming pool. Um, the, now I got. It makes sense to put a barbecue grill and maybe an outdoor kitchen um, by the kitchen door. 
because the kitchen door is where, you know, you can go cooking. So I'm going to grab the, the barbecue and I'm going to put it over here. Let me see what it looks like in 3D. Make sure it's actually pointing to where I'm going to put the kitchen. Oops. Okay, I know. I always have a hard time trying to figure out how to walk around this game playing. I'm not used to using a mouse like this, so this is completely alien to me. All right. Come on. Go to the wall. Okay, there's the barbecue. Actually, that's perfectly the position I wanted to have it. So, here we can see we have a barbecue. Actually, the barbecue is going to be rotated. So it'll be closer to where you would normally put a barbecue because it's kind of in the wrong way. So just spin it around. There we go. Oops. Usually I don't do it in in 3D mode because it takes it's a little more work. But um, we can put our barbecue over here, and we might want to bring it. Oh well, no, actually, because the fire safety is probably about as good as it's gonna get. I don't want it too close to the house. All right. So. We have our barbecue. It's pointing where I want it. It's pointing outside. So we just escape key once. To make sure it's stuck in place and doesn't get moved. Um. So we have our little barbecue. It's not exactly straight on. And since we have a big backyard, I mean, this backyard is huge. I forget how big the front yard is. If you want to zoom in, because, you know, for those people who are detail-oriented, you can just zoom in with your scroll wheel. You want to line this up exactly. Again, now you can do the same thing. Just slide it up. There we go. That's as good as it's going to get. All right. So, now, you're going to have that. You're going to, have a, you're going to want to have a table. You're going to want to eat, right? So, let's see what we can find for outdoor furniture. Um, I see, I see umbrellas, but I don't see tables with those umbrellas. So let's go look, see if I can find a table. Ah, chase lounge. By the way, you don't have to stick with the same. Oh, this is this is is this a table or is this something else? This is the table. That's an armchair, really. There's a chaise lounge. It's kind of similar to what my mom had. Not quite as nice as that. Hers is plastic. Which actually was surprisingly comfortable, believe it or not. Now, there's no there's no balcony on this porch, so there's no really reason to have a Alright. So let's see if we can find a chase lounge that would look good. Cause I used to spend a lot of time with my mom's, so like I would be reading books on the porch. Uh, yeah, that will look, still kind of looks tough. All right, wait a minute. I don't want this too close to the, um, the grill for fire safety reasons. All right. So let me see what it looks like in three D again. Now it looks kind of similar to what my mom looks like. So I'm trying to find something that's kind of close, but not exactly the same. So I'm gonna rotate around. I make two big motions with my mouse, which drives me crazy. Okay, there's the lunch. And I said it's not exactly the same as my mom's. First of all, it's pointing in the wrong direction. All right, first thing I gotta fix. This thing's pointing the wrong way. I couldn't see that in the 
So I'm gonna flip this around. Eh, that's better. Given where your official sun is, that's even more perfect. All right. So now, let me want to give this thing a different color. So I can probably go to textures, and let's go to. Metal and vinyl. Yeah, that's closer to what my mouse would see songs look like. Um, except hers had a cushion on it. Um, Now you can even do fine colors on this too. Like, okay, let's see what is this pattern here. I can pick this pattern, which I kind of like. Except that then it stupidly changes the railing or the st thing to match that. My mom's had slats, and this one doesn't have slats. All right, so because of stupidity it makes sense to go with a standard color let's see what this one does here i like this one looks like it's multiple shades no god no 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 all right so let's go back to the white one because that one seems to look best okay but if you don't like the color if you don't like it you can change the color so maybe you might want to make a blue unfortunately you can't make the railing separate i don't know why uh, the, the handlebars. So let's see when it go blue. And then when it go blue again. And I want to go. So I can take that blue. I can just click on it. And I can drag it. This is part of the game I don't get. No. I don't, want, I don't like that color. No. No. It doesn't, I don't like the way that looks. It looks awful. No, I don't like that. Yeah, I like that better, I guess. All right, so we got our lounge here. We have a chase lounge. The only thing we don't have is a swimming pool. So, that's easy enough to fix. I mean, really, a swimming pool is not that hard to do. The only problem is in um, is zoning. This program apparently was designed for the European market, so the zoning rules are different. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop, I'm going to slow my, my, so scanning's a damn fast. Okay, so here I'm thinking about putting swimming pool over here. I still wanted to put a small table. The only problem is, is I'm trying to find one that I like, that doesn't look hideous. Um, uh, there's indoor, outdoor furniture. It's all mixed up in here. I need to decorate the dining room anyway. So let's see. Um, this is a large hammock. I don't want a hammock. I want a table. Seats, 1970s style chairs, um, Here's an outdoor table. Oh, okay. Here's another one. Um, one thing it doesn't have is an umbrella. The one that's below it in plastic looks like my mom's. All right, so let's see if I can click on this. Well, no, it doesn't really look like my mom's. This does, though. So let's put this one. I don't want it to make it too close to the barbecue because people have to remember fire safety. 
Okay? So now we don't have an umbrella. There's ways to add one. So let's do that. So let's grab an umbrella. Um, all right. This is pretty good right there. I want to switch this back in 3D so I can actually edit that. Because that's kind of stupid in this placement, but it's, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, if I can find my cursor. Why is it that doesn't look right. Wait a minute. That doesn't look right. Alright. No. It doesn't look right. I need something. You got an umbrella, but you don't have a pole to hold it. So, I need... I need a pole. The problem is they don't have one. So, I have to find one. So one way to do that is to do this. I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll to objects. No, wait, I'm going to go back to, no, not openings. I'm going to go to, yeah, let's go to, say, over here. We're going to go to geometries. Stupid thing has no has no umbrella has no pole. It has no friggin' pole. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to temporarily move this this uh thing out of the way so we can see the table. All right. So now let's see if I can actually let me blow that away because I actually I think I saw one that might even work better. Okay, so let's go pick out another one that looks like it has the bottom and the shaft and the controls, the crank. I think I saw one over here. I was going to make my own. You can kit bash your own stuff, too. Um, but I like to usually use what I can when I can because it makes it easier for me. So we have this one. Uh, yeah. This one, let's see, what is this? Butterfly parasol. Don't think this is what I want. No. Um, round parasol. It's not really round, but the hell with it, I'll use it. Or it can go for the 1970 style. Which one here? Which is a patio parasol, which makes as good sense as anyway. So now the problem is, I gotta line it up. Okay, but when I do that, I gotta keep find my keep forgetting. I check my mouse so fast, I can't even find it sometimes. All right, let's zoom out a bit. This is. All right, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. There we go. And I might want to change the, what to call the attitude. Yeah, I know. Makes you laugh when you think about it, right? Let's see. First of all, it looks awfully big. Way too big. Okay, I'm going to shrink that down a lot. Because that looks like that seriously is way too big. So let's shrink that down to something a little bit normal sized. 
Just like Slim Blast, we can take off the weight. Okay, that's better. All right, so now that looks closer to normal. So let's go back in 3D and see what it looks like now. All right, so scroll out. Uh, yeah, that's closer to right, but I need to change something in the measurement. This thing is, this thing is way too tall. Um, it's too far up. I gotta reduce the height. It's way too tall. No, 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 no. Not the table. Scale it. What did I do? Just blew it away. I did it. Yeah. Oh, it'll be the first time. All right, so I've got a, I got a table and I got that. The problem is the parasol is too damn big. I think, honestly, I think the problem is that the table's hole is too big. Hmm. I love to see if there was one that was close to the shape. Um, all right, we can put a swimming pool in too. I'll do that in a second. Um, all right, well, we got chairs. We might as well put those around the table. All right. All right. Can I zoom in more? I don't even know if my pole's straight on in the hole. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Looks pretty close to right. All right. So, yeah. It's in the hole. All right. So, now let's go back to 2D. All right. So, what's the only thing is uh, the table's much smaller all right, but that's fine. I'll leave it alone. I'm not going to change it. All right, so now, obviously, we're making an outdoor living area, right? So we need... I didn't even work on the land, which is... we. It's all in grass. Now, we can change that. So we're going to go back downstairs, and we're going to do land. We can just see we can still do land now. So let me just zoom it out a little bit. So we're going to take a land, because we forgot to do the land, right? And I understand it's already the lowest level of the game. So theoretically speaking, You're kidding me, right? You're going to demand that I put this thing in here? So I guess telling you, you got to get rid of this stuff first. Ugh. Really? Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Okay. 
I just moved the center wing. I have to put the umbrella later. It's just going to be a patio. It's going to have to have look like one, right? So, so let's go ahead and get the concrete guy in to make the land patio footings and all that happy horse hockey. So I'm going to start from the very corner of the house and I'm going to drag it over here. It doesn't seem to like me very much. Are you really on the ground floor? I am? Okay. For some reason it's just not letting me land. Let's see if we can do it this way. This game is this 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 is much more complicated than than you think it is. Okay. So I can zoom in, I can zoom out. Alright, I'm gonna put some land in here. I gotta put land, I don't have land. Uh, is this as full low down as I can go? Doesn't want to let me do anything. I mean, I don't want it. Maybe you have to take this mainland and change it. The mainland. How can I add? Oh, I know what to do. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think I could forget about the geometry. Building functions. Yes. That would work. What I'm going to do is going to pick up a patio surface here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do is I'm going to make a patio this way. It's kind of stupid, but it'll work. Okay. I'm going to line it up perfectly with that. But I'm going to do is I want to make it longer. Because this is a little small. So I'm going to scale it. Uh, well, actually, it's pretty close as it is to where it actually might have wanted it. But I want to put... So I'm going to take this thing here. Whoops. I'm going to take it over here. Line it up here. It's kind of stupid because it doesn't work for me. Um, first of all, I don't think I like it that long. Technically, I'm going into my friend's yard, so I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to drag this back over here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to have... I'm going to do the same thing again. And let's see if there's a geometry shape that would work out for uh, lengthwise. Because I have the other door, right? So you might as well take the same thing. I guess let's take this piece of land over here. I'm going to put it over here just because when I stretch it, it's going to screw it up a lot. So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to scroll up this way. I'm going to work, I'm going to pitch it out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And now what I'm going to do is I have two choices. A, 
I can take this object and copy it lots of times, which is one way to do it once you get the scale right. So I'm going to go to scale, because after all, it's just it's just a blink primitive. It's not even anything really yet. So I'm going to take this and bring it a little bit bigger. Okay. And I want to take this and see if it lines up. It's going to be a little bit bigger still. Okay. It looks like you got one foot. You got a seven inch spot. You can actually put in that seven inch spot, you could have a gap, which makes it look good. Okay. So I'm going to copy the shape. I'm going to copy it because I want to put, um, let's see. So let's see porch. So I'm going to copy it. Okay, I'm going to zoom in out a bit. And I'm going to paste it, the copy piece material, over here. I'm going to try to line them up as I can. It's a little crooked. This is where zooming in works. Nice to line them up. Okay, now let's scan over here. All right, that's good, except now, the one problem is we have this big piece of material, but now for the little door over here, it doesn't line up. That's the only reason wrong with that material. So the question is what to do. Well, I'm gonna do is see if I can find a rectangular piece of material because I'll be faster. So let's see, can we use something like this narrow piece here will do fine. I'm gonna take this material, I'm gonna drag it in here. Of course, it's too big. What I'm gonna do is I can drop a good second there, you can't even see it. All right, so let's take this, let's scale this down a lot. Because after all, it has to be transitioned for a step. It will actually will be it. Um, so let's do that. Let's take this, shrink this down to size, you know, and see if this fits between, well, let's see, this is seven inches exactly, three feet, four inches. Let's see, that bad, looks like it's perfect, but the only thing is, all right. I'm going to zoom in so I can actually get it close as possible. All right, that looks good. That looks good. All right, that's good. All right. So, that's that. Now we have a texture to deal with. We might as well do it to textures. It's a patio, right? That's a step. So I'm going to do... Is I'm going to take the step. Go back to 3D mode here. Oh, that perfectly looks like a step. Oh, I don't even have to change that. That's, that's perfect. All right, so now I got to do textures. Now it's concrete, right? Now I can have stone. Um, or I could, yeah, I can have stone. So let's pick out textures that we'd like. Uh, this is taking me a lot longer to do than if I was just to go ahead and just grab a piece of paper and draw this. All right, so we're going to grab two. That's brick. Wood and um, parquets. Okay, brick and stones. All right, I want to take the same material I already have on the inside. You know what? I kind of like those orange. I kind of like the red bricks. I think that they'll break the color up and they'll look good on contrast. So let's grab the red brick. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's that'll work fine. Awesome.
The only thing with the brick I don't like is the fact it's going in the wrong direction. So the question is, can I rotate it? The answer is yes, you can. Um, the only thing is I gotta remember how to do that. Uh, so let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to have to fix this thing here. All right. All right. The only thing is, is that now... According to this, I don't even need that. No. No, I'm going to leave it like I had it. That looked up better, I think. Because I like that. I like the... It's a simple one-step deal. In reality, it makes sense in real life anyway. All right. So hot, it doesn't even line up right. Okay, so now I can see the steps look better anyway. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab one more set of bricks for the other side, okay. Textures, go back, grab the same bricks. All right, put the bricks. It's already selected, so I just gotta go ahead and drag it. And I'll put it right there. Boom. All right. So now let's just zoom over here. That way you can see the steps line up perfectly there. But they don't line up here. This is a little off. So I have to do. Let's fix this. I think I see the error I did. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna fix this step again. Now you can modify the dimensions a bit. Oh no, it's slightly crooked. Oh, that's no good. I'm gonna work, get over, gonna get this thing lined up. Does that let me rotate this? Oh, let me rotate it right, but. See that? Oh, wait, no, let's rotate it. All right, I'm gonna rotate it back. Come on, don't be so picky. Is it the same kind of steps? Is it the same kind of brick? No, it's like the end of one mistake. I gotta rotate that one too. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go back to TV mode. I'll figure this out. Zooming out. Look at it. It's easier than just curl up this way. Try to line this back up again. Get a line the bricks up with the bricks. Now, if it was something simple like concrete or asphalt, it's not quite as picky. Okay, same thing with this one here. I'm gonna scroll up here a little bit because this is a little crooked also. Except the only problem is is that the bricks don't line up with the other bricks. All right. So just line up with the railings. I can do is overlap them a little bit. The thing is, is that's not right either. Oh. Welcome to part of the game that drives me nuts is the details. Rotating things. You can see how it's supposed to lay up. All right, that's good. That that looks realistic. All right, so let's go snap that in the three D and see what it looks like now. All right. Turn off the bricks so we can see. Okay, that looks closer to right. All right. The grayness looks like concrete. So what I'm going to do is now uh, for, the st for the other one, the other, oh, God, I'm not even done yet. I still have to fix the other one. Oh, wait a minute. This logo makes me dizzy. Oh, okay. First of all, it's not exactly right on this one. It's close, but it's not exactly, but I'm not going to get picky about the detail. It looks like a poor patio, and that's what matters. All right, so now let's figure out what kind of swimming pool. Oh, yeah, we got to put our other things back on here, don't we? The furniture we took off inside. So we have a we have a patio. So I'm gonna grab my chase lounge and I'm gonna put it. All right, that's as good as any. Actually, I like that better. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab our uh, barbecue and our table. So click on my barbecue. Makes sense to put it by the kitchen because that's where you're going to be cooking anyway. All right, and the table. Um, I wanted to have, excuse me, I wanted to have the table close enough that you could eat. Okay. Anyway, well, you wonder why the house says how many windows on the side of the kitchen. It's obvious because the stove and cabinets are in the way. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so now we can see the table. Now, why don't we make the table the same color as the uh, other thing? So we'll go back to um, textures. We're going to go back to paint. And we're going to make it white. 
Oops. Nah, that's going to be great. Not that. Okay, perfect. All right. Another thing you can do, and I didn't do, is um, if you want to have white, I, like I said, now we have to figure out, I might have put a pool in here. Now I have a couple of choices for pools. Let me go back to 2D for this because it's going to be easier to line it up with what I want. I might have to rotate it around a lot because it's hard to do it in 2D sometimes. But it does make finding things in the map easier. Okay. Now, where is the swimming pool going to be? First of all, let's start in the swimming pool. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can copy your chase lounge, which you might want to do anyway. So let's go to objects. Okay, I'm going to go to outdoor living. I don't have any kids' rooms. I don't even have any drapes. Just to give you an idea, I didn't even put any drapes in yet. So let's go back to outdoor and leisure. All right, so let's see. Barbecue, can they have a kiddie pool? They can have a big hot tub. Can they have an in-ground pool? Let's take this swimming pool. The only thing is, is that the swimming pool looks like it's kind of an up, uh, above ground. All right, stick right there for now so I can see it. Um, let's rotate this guy around a little bit. So, I'm going to rotate this guy. Oops. Oh, I think rotate. Duh. I'll have to figure it out in a second here. This is the one I'm going to rotate. Let's see. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to put this over here. All right, so now I'm going to go back to 2 E so I can fix my bricks. Oops, just a slightly crooked. Just slightly crooked. All right. So slightly crooked. All right, so we have a swimming pool. So let's see what it looks like in 3D. I might have to change the height of the pool because right now it looks like it's an above ground pool, which it is kind of, but I want to bring it down to the ground level. So the problem is, is how do I do that? Yeah, because it's above ground. So what I'm going to do is, let me tilt this up here. I can see it more up here. I got to back it up a bit, click on it. And shit. Um, can I make? Can I? Can I sink this into the water? Um, I don't know how to do that. It's sort of okay because if you look at it, it looks good from the surface. But you'll see over here, it kind of lands a little bit off, but eh. And the walls, I can rotate it around. But my biggest problem is, is right now, I'm near the edge of my property line, so this is going to be a problem. I'm at the edge of my property line, so I can't really... Yeah, but it still feels like it's too high, but I don't see any way to lower it down. That's what I need to do. I need to lower it down somehow. How do I do that? How do I lower it down into the ground? All right, is there any way I can change the height? 
of the object. I don't, oh, I don't see how I'm going to fix this. All right, first of all, there is another slight issue, which is this. Our chase lounge is blocking the um, walking to the pool. So, unfortunately, that does not have to be straight on. That can be a little bit crooked. I'm going to copy this object. See if I can keep two things in my copy buffer at once. The answer is no. Okay. So, I'm going to copy the object. So, okay. So, okay. Now, as long as I got the object copy, I can rotate them and flip them around. So, do copies as many as I want. So, the idea is, is I want to try to build a, a house where you can have a swimming pool, or you can have parties. It's kind of ironic, because the real me doesn't even have parties. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe it's a little, maybe you need to do is bring it closer to the house a little bit. Like that. Um, the pole is still not straight, though. It's so damn close to right on. Alright. I also, I think we still need, we still need something. We really need this really bad. You know what that is? What? We need more asphalt because the pool like it looks like it's hanging in the middle of nowhere. It's like it needs something. So let's go back and grab our asphalt again. I could just copy it. Just like that. Just drop them right on pieces right in here. So we can objects, just line them up. Because when you do that, objects, one more piece of asphalt. The only thing is just the papers are a little bit off. So what I want to do is I might have to re re change some changes here. Okay. Yeah, the lid. This this gonna have to make some changes. All right. So I've got three to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide these back here. Okay. Just push this up here. I'm gonna slide this over here for a bit because I'm gonna fix these guys here. Okay, and I'm gonna fix this one. So to do this, I'm gonna take this one here. And I'm going to use the scale command. Because right now it's just a blank geometric. It's not even got any brick on it or anything. So theoretically speaking, it should be easy enough to do. So we're going to keep dragging it out. Just keep dragging it out. All right. Kind of bring this in just a tiniest, tiny bit. Seven foot, six, six inches. Seven feet, six inches. That's so fine details. The problem is then I got an inch gap between the top and the bottom. I don't want an inch gap.
Uh, that's pretty good right there. Seven foot ten inches. It's a little crooked. It's got gap. It's, but then again, that doesn't surprise me. Um, so what I could do is I can extend it slightly longer. Oh, it goes into somebody else's property. I don't think they're gonna like me very much. Slide that back in and get. All right, let's give it to these guys. Theoretically, I'm not gonna need these. These are okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna slide this around here. That looks better, but I still want to scale it because I think it still looks a little bit too long, too short. Like I said, depending on the year, the housing code or your, or your the zoning laws in your area, the country you're in, this might be too small. Okay, so now. We have a problem in the sense the length is too long, and I gotta bring this back in a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this back in here. Alright, that looks as good as it's gonna get. So now I'm gonna go back to my bricks again. Um. Now let's see. I'm gonna copy this. No, I don't have to copy. I just gotta know to get texture right. All right. So now it looks closer to what I want. So now what I gotta do is the same thing with the textures. So I'm gonna put the bricks in stone and brick. And let's see. Can I copy the pattern I already have? No. I can. Yeah, but I don't think it did. Alright, I think this is anyway. No. It's not. Is this it? No. It's got pretty big papers. Is this it? Yes. All right. Now we're starting to get somewhere. All right. So now let me just zoom up over so we can see what it looks like now from looking at it from above. The swimming pool is in. The bricks are in. And, um, and they line up pretty well with the original bricks. Uh, I take that back. No, they don't. Um, damn it! Oh, I'm. This is not right. Damn it! Alright, I think I got it now. Alright, so basically, the problem is those bricks don't match the other bricks. They're not the same bricks. The other ones are long and skinny. These are not long and skinny. What the fuck did they choose? You chose something wrong. I know, but which ones did they choose? Uh, I, I don't know. You chose another style of bricks. Yeah, the ones I chose are skinnier. Yeah, those are not them. Those are not them. Those are not them. I mean, they look close. No, that don't look great. I 
That's not close to right. I know that's not the right color. I just want to see what it looked like. All right. All right. So, in short, those are the wrong bricks. They don't look right, but they're they they match. Otherwise, they match. Otherwise, right. So, so this is the. So let's look at this from the eyeball view of a person walking into this building or into the backyard. Well, first of all, the problem is our swimming pool is too damn high. It's way sticks up too damn high. High. This pool is just too big. Alright. So I need to change that. The problem is how do I do that? I can't change the height. Um, it doesn't seem to give me an option to change the height. What about elevating the patio? I know. Oh. Okay, even for now. Even though it looks really weird. I mean, I can change attitudes of walls and materials, but I can't do anything with that. See, like I can change here, the attitude, so that I can go, I can line it up with this one so it looks closer like in the ground, which it is, should be. Right. The problem with that is, I can't change the attitude of the other porch because if I do, I already can see the problem that these cheese lounges are sexually sinking into the ground. What? Yeah, because if you try to see if you can raise these guys up. So maybe if I take these Ray Chase lounges out and reposition them. Okay, the problem is is that this only makes the surface look like a certain race level. It doesn't actually change much. What I need to do is be able to use the attitude control in the pool. The problem is that it's not an option. I can't change the attitude on the pool. So the attitude of the pool won't change. I can change the pavers, but then it screws up everything else. See, I don't like the way that looks. You don't like the way it looks either? No. I mean, I like the bricks, but it just doesn't look right. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It just doesn't look right. So anyway, guys, this is what I've been doing in this game and trying to figure out how to do the exteriors now. I honestly, I don't know if I like the swimming pool there. I think the swimming pool there is a problem. Um, and I think, first of all, it's a problem because it sticks out too damn much. It's too close to the neighbor's property line. First problem. Bye-bye. Okay. And so that is the first real problem in the game. Second of all is that the other thing is the two um is the same thing with the uh the the uh, parquet. It it doesn't work for me. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna st I'm gonna skip that. Now I can still have a small hot tub though, so that's what I am gonna put in. So let's go back to object.
Let's go back to outdoor living. And let's go to an above ground hot tub. Uh, let's let's rotate this around a bit. And we'll do the same thing with the we did. We're gonna rotate we're gonna slide this one in here. Alright. Now let's see what that looks like. That looks like that's gonna look better for me. Um it's a pretty big hot tub for party and yeah, that definitely looks better. No, it looks much better. It does. Um, the jacuzzi definitely fits into space much better, I think. One, it meets uh, what appears to be my property line is where the grass ends in the map. So when you're looking at this map, if we go back here, if you was just in Connecticut, you would have, in Winston, you can be no closer than 25 feet from your neighbor's property line. So, I'm looking at the scene here, and you see the scale is 10 feet. Theoretically, the jacuzzi is too close to the property line. Now, what I could do, what I am going to do, is I can take this and I can put this on top of the pavers. All right. Theoretically, the, if you were to bring that to an actual building, planning and zoning committee, they probably would probably tolerate that maybe one or a few inches off. So I mention that because my father, uh, when he built the, the porch, he had the same problem with uh, the planning and zoning commission was getting really anal about if he was his porch that he wanted to build, he had to keep it so small because of the reason. Uh, let's see, I can, let's give myself a few more inches of room here. All right, let's see how that looks, oops. All right, looks good. Yeah, that works fine. And you still have room to walk into the steps so now, that's the outside. What about the inside? Well, I didn't do the inside yet. So let's do the inside first. Now, we know that the main living room has got... We need a dining table. So we need to find... Uh, I don't think it's going to be leisure. You can use the kitchen table. You can use the tables here. You don't even have any chairs. I don't need chairs at the tables, right? Well, we do now. Let's put some all here. Okay. And I'll put another one over here. All right. And. Although I hate to be the poor schmuck having to sit in this chair that's sitting in the rock over the rocks. Alright. Now I'll just drag this back over here to the table. And take this one here. I'm gonna rotate this one a little bit. You can barely see it against the bricks. The only it's there though. And I need one more chair. Why one more? Because it would look better. Okay. A little bit of symmetry doesn't hurt. You can have four chairs, actually. Yeah, okay, put four chairs in. One more. Oh, I think it's a gray. I need white. Well, we'll fix that. All right, so let's go back to 3D again. See, this is what you do all day in this simulation is just lay out your house and oops um this is kind of stupid the chair is actually sticking under the table 
That doesn't make any sense. So let's just take this thing here. Let's rotate this chair a little bit. Uh, And rotate the chair. Perfect. Let's put this, push this thing into the table. And let's see, rotate it. All right, so. Same thing with this chair. I'm going to slide this one in here. Whoa! Alright. Let's rotate it. We got four chairs. I got four chairs. I don't know where I'm going to put the fourth chair because the fourth chair doesn't fit anywhere. Um, just put it over there for right now. I'm going to go back and figure out what to do with the other three. All right, that looks better. All right, now the same thing with this one. And then we have this one over here. Can you zoom out? So I got four chairs. All right. Now one man, let's texture them. Let's give them some color. Okay. One. Two. Three. And four. Perfect. And the legs of the table could be white too. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to see. All right, so now let's view this as from eye level of what a person would look like from the deck. Oh, it were. Oh, I was? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's walk around the yard. I can see the yard now. We got our pavers, we got our bricks. Let's zoom out so you can see the whole thing. I love the fact that it's so in shadow and everything. Okay, we still got this other chair. We don't really need it, so bye bye. <laughs> Okay, so the good news is my little house is starting to look like a house that I would be proud to live in. Um, this game comes with simulated or people too. They're not animated, they're not moving, but I think you need more windows. What? Because you don't have a lot of windows down here. Oh... Uh, well, the only problem is you can't have windows because you already kind of got the stairwell going up there, so. Oh, right. But you could put one or two more over here on this side. Okay. Let's do that then. 
All right. You can put some windows here on the first floor. So I'm just going to go select their windows again. I do like a house with light. People think it's because I'm mainly an introvert that I have to live in the dark. I really don't um, because for me, I like the arch windows. I know they're kind of stupid because they don't really match nothing. They make your house really stand out. They do. Yeah. Try to line them up as best you can. Okay. And same thing over here. Another window. I don't have a picture window here. I thought about putting a picture window in here. But it kind of messes up the symmetry. They have a window that's open. They have a window that's open. I don't using that right now, but they, these do open. Yeah. So let's see. Back to my house here. Windows here. Let's see. Try to line it up. I'm gonna try to line it up as best I can, so at least it looks good. And same thing here. I can do the same thing. So now, now I'm not mad because it's not so free form anymore. Because now I'm actually trying to, to keep up with the pattern and but usually sit on the other side. Let's see. Uh, cool too. Okay, that looks good. All right. So now let's see what that looks like now when I look at it from the 3D mode. All right, so. In the interior, I kind of like that. I think it looks pretty good. I don't have a problem with it. So now let me flip it around so we can see the porch in the back. Okay. Looks like it did make a difference. All right. Now what I want to do is let's, let's stack on the second floor and third floor and see how badly I misaligned those windows are now. They shouldn't be too bad, but... Oops. They are kind of don't line up at all. That one kind of does, yeah, but that one don't. That one don't, and that one don't. Right. So maybe I can do is, let's see if we can fix that. Um. Can I actually use like a schmack and actually look at it and lay on tiers and levels so we can see if we can line the windows up? Because I'm looking at one on the second floor here. If I could see with the first floor windows, that would be a great help. Okay, first of all, my chandelier on the second floor has got to be adjusted. It's like the arms of it are like smack right into the wall. So let's fix that. All right, that's much better. All right, now, um, the you think you should have a second chandelier? You got a lot of space here. Um, just put it closer to the center. See how that looks. Yeah, no, it's a little off crooked. It was a crooked out. Come on, don't be so fussy. Zoom in so I can get right down to the inches. All right. Let's see. That looks good. All right. That, that looks... But you know what? Honestly, I think I need another chandelier. I think that's kind of... It's like one chandelier in that one spot. It looks too busy. I think I need another kind of light source. So I'm thinking... Either keep the chandelier, but just move it around over here a bit.
H N three four five four. Okay, I'm gonna try to line this up ever so closely. That's pretty close. That's pretty perfect. That's perfect, actually. All right, so let's copy that. So let's copy our chandelier and let's put this another one. Okay, like this is like five inches here, five inches here. So now we make this about, uh, yeah, let's copy it. So now it's going to copy it. I'm going to go and track it over here. Now what I can do is I can do the same thing and line this up with the other one. So they don't have to be smack right that on top of it. Okay. Oh wait, you know what? I think I think I'm gonna rearrange these guys a little bit more further apart. Alright. I'm gonna make this closer to I still give the five inches. Alright. So let's bring this one over here. I hate to be the poor schmuck. I'm gonna change the change the bulbs on it though. That's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let me zoom in this out now and see what it looks like. That's that's better. That looks better. Okay, so that's the second floor. But we don't have a kitchen. Um so so let's go back down to the ground floor. Okay, now we have all this room, but we have no we have no couch, we have no furniture. So basically, guys, that's all I do is I just keep rearranging furniture and stuff in the game, and it just takes me longer to do it that way. But the end result is, as we can see here in the house, come back into the house video here. Let's go back to 3D. Let's go back to eye view. So when you're walking in the room, all right, okay, I'm going to pitch, pitch up like you're looking up the ceiling. And you see there's two chandeliers up there and the steps. And I have your jacuzzi outside. Oops. Sorry about that. That's my place for a second here. We have a jacuzzi outside. We have our barbecue. We have our kitchen. You can see it's, it's your typical uh, kitchen with a modern stove and a sink and a microwave above, top. Oops. <laughs> well, we have a dining area, which has nothing in it yet. Bathroom. Oh, wait. So, they have bathroom. And, yeah, there's some junk sticking out here in the wall. Um... Apparently, it was something from an earlier construction attempt. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get rid of that. All right. So then, we, of course, we have our little hidey hole. We can go out here and rotate around, and you can see the house. Walk back. You can see the the tower. Which I was able to manage to put a roof on it. Um, now I gotta figure out what to do with grass and trees. In the virtual world, there's no houses here. I'm building a house, not a city. 
so clearly I need texture here. Uh, it's it's not perfect um, because the way the house is built, but uh, the rendering of the building, second floor. I can see the second floor here. And uh, then, of course, the, there's a phantom third floor, which you can't even see, because it's actually, and there's a fourth floor, which is not, actually, there's a fifth. <laughs> it's just that you can't see it. It's the only way you can get the roof on it. So if we go over here, there's the fourth, there's the fifth, then the, the way to the top there is the roof. So... That's how it's done. Uh, it's going to take me a long time to finish this building. And what I wanted to do is if I can get f the world model viewer uh, working is to take blood elves and put my blood elf characters in the scene. Or somehow manage to integrate this building into Silver Moon City somehow. But I haven't figured out how to finish doing the building yet. I mean, because I have to work around the limitations of the game. It says he has no roofs. But, yeah, I just got a roof on the building. It's not perfect. It's First of all, I didn't even make it perfectly round or uh, hex, hex build, hexagon building either. It was all freehand, which made a big difference because it, it was really drawn the way I would have drawn it in real life on paper using a compass and protractors and, um, I mean, um, architect's angles i could have done it probably pretty good but um i don't even have a drafting board so um that's what i did that's what i'm that's how my little building looks um i thought i would show you this errors and uh, how I, I deal with this and it takes me a while so i just thought i would share it with you do i think design 3d is a good program to use home design 3d Yes, it's good for seven bucks. I wouldn't complain. The only thing I have to play, I buy, I don't like, is the uh, so many objects that are very modern. There's no older style objects in the game, uh, like say you know older architecture. Like everything's modernized. There's not too much older, you know, objects. But I'm sure somebody go out there who has the ability to create these design 3D objects could take some older period design objects, say from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, double O's, 10s, 20s, and put them all in the in the game as objects for the people. Um, that's what the only thing I really see is lacking. But other than that, it's okay. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this. Have a nice day now. Bye-bye.